One day Jesus reached out to two desperate people who were outsiders of the faith, not insiders, and included them in his healing ministry. What would you think of our Jesus if you knew that he turned a deaf ear to the needs of someone's little girl who was dying just because her parents were of a different race or that they were an undocumented person? My Jesus would not do it. In another case, on the same day, Jesus met a deaf man from the region of the Decapolis, the unkosher Gentile side of the Sea of Galilee, and healed him as well. What Jesus did was against the law, against the orthodox religion of his day. But his God really was an inclusive God who had a definite bias for the excluded, desperate, and the marginalized. So Jesus broke the law, got himself in trouble, but healed a desperate child of God. What would you do in Jesus' name? On the day of Pentecost, the birthday of the church, you may remember that the Spirit just didn't fall on the Jews or just on the disciples of Jesus on that day, but that the Spirit was universally poured out on every nation under heaven. And yes, God was even inclusive in His use of language as well because everyone heard God in their own native tongue. So guess what? None were left out. None were excluded. All were included. Yes, the first Christians were Jews, but right here in the scriptures, Cretans, Arabs, and all others were invited to the table as well. I'm Chris Cooper, Senior Pastor, First United Methodist Church of Little Rock. And because Jesus opened the door of the church to everyone, and because God poured out His Spirit on the day of Pentecost to every person in every nation, First United Methodist Church is a church of open doors and open minds and open hearts. Come join us this Sunday as we continue our conversation on the inclusiveness of God's kingdom and His love.